Hello everybody, Russ here. And once again, we're working on Antico flooring and what you're looking at here is typical uh, scratches and scuffs caused by furniture, uh, dining room chairs actually, uh, that have been moved forwards and backwards for many years. Okay, we see this a lot. Um, and um, the easiest way really to deal with this is to buy felt pads. Okay, um, let's zoom in on this area again. So you can, you can clearly see that there's uh, a lot of scratches here. Okay, there's no gouges, um, but it has, the, 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 the furniture has damaged the wear layer of this Antico. So what we're gonna to do today is strip the existing seal from this floor, uh, deep clean the floor, okay. Got some more scratches down here. The main traffic area leading out to the back door. Okay, and um, we will re surface this floor, okay? We're going to use a PU sealer. We've got the toilet area as well to do in there, downstairs toilet. We're gonna to use a PU sealer. And the PU sealer is going to achieve a matte finish on this factory matte floor, I'd say. This particular floor isn't supposed to be shiny, really, at all. Um, and uh, the PU sealer is going to help to heal the floor, conceal those scratches and scuffs, okay? And hopefully we'll be able to um, improve how this floor looks quite a lot. Um, so replacing the floor is certainly um, not an option that we wanna, it's not a route that we wanna go down really uh, because um, it's just not a good idea really to pull this stuff up because it's um, the, the impact it has on the environment. Um, a lot of this type of floor it ends up in landfill. So we wanna try and renew it the, as, as the best that we can. Anyway, let's start with stripping and deep cleaning this, these tiles and then we can look at um, the next stage of sealing. Right, for those of you who aren't familiar with my videos, um, you will recognise this stage as the stripping and cleaning stage. So we're actually physically removing the existing seal that has built up over a number of years. And um, when a seal um, gets old and tired, it, it, it kind of goes yellow. So I expect to see this floor change colour quite a lot actually um, when we start to extract to remove the, the broken down seal that you can see. And this machine will remove, or help to remove I should say, the seal by uh, using a specialist pad that oscillates, it vibrates. So unlike a, uh, a rotary machine that some people use in uh, domestic environments such as this uh, kitchen, we don't want we don't want stuff flinging about everywhere. And um, this machine is brilliant because it's very quiet. Uh, it will work up to the edges, if need be. Okay, so um, anyway, we're going to finish this bit. And then we're going to um, use our steam boosted extraction machine to then extract the, uh, the, 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 uh, the sealant that's broken down that has liquefied. And we'll see how it looks then. Right, we are just about to put our first layer of seal down and um, I don't know if this is coming out clear on video but 
the floor has been deep cleaned and stripped and deep cleaned I should say and um, colour wise it's definitely a very different colour to what it was before okay um, the greyness has, has uh, is, is definitely more noticeable now the uh, the old seal has been removed um, and um, just the colours are kind of look, it just looks different um, kind of back to where it was factory anyway um, I'm going to try and zoom in on a few areas here now with all the dirt removed um, the scratches are a little bit less noticeable but they're still there as you can see okay so that was the area where the, um, the, the chairs and tables were Chair, chairs and, and table I should say so um, we're just about to put uh, our first coat of PU sealer down and um, obviously here where there was a, a wooden cabinet um, the uh, the dyes from the woods over, over the uh, over the years have sadly um, stained the the Antico and here as well where a rubber backed mat has been laying for a number of years has also stained the Antico. Nothing I can do with that at all, I'm afraid. But there will be uh, a, uh, a mat going back there and also a cabinet going back there, so you, you, you'd never see it. Anyway, let's get that first coat down and let's come back to this once that coat has uh, dried. Right, the first coat went down about an hour and a half ago. And it's now touch dry allowing me to inspect the floor. Okay, so um, we've still got another coat of PU sealer to go down. But before I do, I just wanted to show you how it looks now. And um, this is just after the first application, folks, and, and, I, and I think you'll agree that that is a massive improvement. I mean, it's huge. It's like night and day. Um, you remember where all those scratches were, just here? I'll zoom right in. You can't see them. They completely disappeared, okay? Um, so, obviously the, uh, the damaged tiles are still damaged. I think we can do with that. But the, um, the scratches, which was the main concern, have all but disappeared with just one coat of this product, okay? Um, but um, some people might just go, well, that'll do, but not us. We've got to put down two coats because that's what the manufacturer suggests. Right, so let's get that other coat down. Okay, second coat has been applied. And what you're looking at now, folks, is a floor that has been completely renewed and um, as we move into this area where you you could certainly see all them scratches and damage caused by the furniture where it's been moving across the, the surface all those scratches have totally disappeared okay we don't remove scratches uh, you can't remove a scratch um, but what the product is actually doing is it's filling um, where the scratch has broken the surface. Okay, um, let's try and get down here. Uh, try and take uh, video from all angles. Okay, so you, just, you can see that it's not a trick of the light or anything. 